what the ladies talking about. What's up, family? An elderly Colorado grandmother is suing a Denver police detective for ordering an illegal raid on her home, triggered by a botched ping from a Find My iPhone app. Damn, skip it. Lock him up after you get the bag. Here's how it went down. A SWAT team stormed 77-year-old Ruby Johnson's Montebello home after a dangerous misunderstanding on how to use the handy Apple app, according to the lawsuit filed Wednesday by the ACLU of Colorado. At least eight officers in full body armor toting automatic weapons, raided Mrs. Johnson's home in search of several stolen items, including six firearms and an iPhone on January 4th. Ms. Johnson's suit names Gary Stabb, the lead detective in the botch raid. The complaint claims Stabb used a hastily prepared bare bones misleading affidavit to obtain a warrant and perform an illegal search of Miss Johnson's home. So what does this nice, old, innocent, hardworking lady want? She's seeking a jury trial and unspecified damages according to the filing and is suing Stab in his individual capacity. Yeah, fam, it's going down. Now, what in the world was the police searching for? Why batter ram this woman's garage and run up in her house over a phone? What is this about? What the hell is on the phone? Top secret government file? What's, what's, what's going on here? Well, according to the report, the police were searching for a stolen truck that allegedly contained a semi-automatic weapon were several semi-automatic handguns, a tactical military-style rifle, a revolver, two drones, and an iPhone 11 plus $4,000 in cash. Seems like to me they should be looking for the dude who made the report. What regular citizen ride around with several handguns and drones in their car? With four thousand dollars cash, what's going on? Was he a cop? That might explain it. Yeah, fam. They got this nice old innocent lady outside in the cold, freezing. Well, I don't know if it was cold and freezing, but that would have added to the punitive damages. But still, the woman was innocent. Got outside in a robe. Not cool. Outside in a robe and a bonnet. Obviously inside of a house where she felt comfortable and safe. Imagine fam sitting up in your house and you're minding your own business. Your house is your refuge. Your house is your castle. Your home is your castle. And you just hear, boom. You know how they come in. Just reckless abandon. Boom. What's, what's the first thing you're thinking? First of all, you think maybe a plane landed on your house or something. You think uh, somebody that ran into it, in a, a car that ran into your house or something. And you hear people coming through. Next thing come to your mind, somebody's trying to rob you, kill you, you know? This is the kind of stuff that they do. This don't happen. This, this is not an isolated case. This happens all the time, every single day, all over America. This is what happened in the Breonna Taylor case. They just went up in that woman's house and murdered her, executed her on a hastily prepared fake warrant. Fake. This is what they do. This is a culture, fam. It's impossible for anybody to feel safe. 
They can't even feel safe because what happens if they mess around and hit the wrong house and it's a cop one day? Cop dead, cop down, man down. Because eventually it will happen. Eventually they will kill somebody of great importance in their view, you know, because, you know, regular people just don't mean nothing to them. Hey, man, that's just, uh, that's the cost of doing business. That's the way they get down. They thought this was just a routine civil rights violation situation. Oh, black lady, she ain't gonna do nothing. She can't do nothing. And it messed around and got some exposure. And now they ass is grass. Yeah. See, fam, exposure, when you don't have money, exposure, you don't have money to go up against these major institutions or people with big money, expose them. Because usually people that behave like that, you're not the first one that they violated. It's a culture. It's habitual. So exposing them is the way that you level the playing field. Yeah, I gave you that for free, fam. Gave you that for free. See, that's what we used to do all the time. When we was making that music, man. They used to try to come after us, and we just expose them. Expose them. Because the only reason they was coming after us is because they just could not absolutely stand black men who stood on something and stood it up, didn't apologize. They couldn't take it. They couldn't stand it. Oh, we got to do something about them, man. We got to go in and, and harass them. We got to harass their visitors. We got to make life uncomfortable for them. We got to scam. That's what we do. We're scared, you know. That's how they get down. So I am absolutely elated that Mrs. Johnson is fighting for her rights. I'm glad she's suing that fool. And more people need to follow suit and sue these cops individually. You know, even if they say you can't, sue them anyway. Hey, man, let the court decide. You know, they decide a lot of things on the spot anyway around here. So, yeah, that's how it needs to be done. And I am absolutely also elated and proud of the people that's working with Miss Johnson so that she can get some justice. That's what it's going to take, fam. Everybody going to have to man up and woman up and child up to fight this beast. No more talk. What the talking about?